Well, first of all, her name's Rita Repulsa. I mean, there you go. It says so much. She's so iconic and, and, and beloved in the Power Rangers universe and that I got to sort of be a part of the Power Rangers universe. That alone was, was worth getting involved in. And then she's narcissistic. She's boss. She's bad. I mean, this combination was so fun to play. And I felt like there was there was a great way to mine more of the mythology behind Rita and where she's from and how she fits into this universe. Oh, I love them. I mean, you know, they represent so many interesting perspectives and diverse um, kids. And I, 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 what I love about them is I feel like anyone watching the movie can point to somebody in the movie and be like, that's me, you know. I loved also that they... I felt like really understood the sense of isolation that so many kids feel and that it's only through coming together and befriending other people, you know, sort of um, that they are that they are then allowed to really be themselves and then they can change the world. You know, for me, honestly, I was very zen about the hair and makeup process. It's about four and a half hours, especially the urchin look is the most involved. Um, I basically tried to sleep or zen out in the chair. I put earbuds in. I listened to podcasts. Um, and I just let the artists do their work. I really felt like I had to just give myself over to them. And oh, yeah. It's really important. You know, it's, it's all about how you walk and how you move and the power that you feel. I mean, I, when I walked around in that outfit, like, I felt like a badass, you know? <laughs> and like, she definitely, like, I felt like I could kick butt when I was, you know, walking around as Rita. And, and I felt like other people saw her too, which is really interesting. You know, they're not seeing me anymore. I felt like they really saw Rita. The, but, but more importantly, you know, you're, I'm, you're playing a character that's very far away from you, you know? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not that narcissistic, <laughs> and uh, I'm not an alien, and so it, those layers help differentiate, you know, and, and help me feel closer to the character, even though I'm further away from her. I think we kept the essence of the original, which is you get to fight bad guys with your friends. And I love that. I love that it's about, you know, before there was Avengers and Justice League and all that. Like, these guys... They understood that um, right away, that it was about like bringing together a, a group. And I, I just love the group spirit of it. Diversity and um, inclusiveness, it makes us stronger, makes us better, makes us more able to go at the really big problems that we're all facing in the world. Hey action movie fans, 2017 looks like it's going to be an awesome year for action movies and following is a list of some of the better ones. Underworld Blood Wars on January 6th, Resident Evil, the final chapter on January 27th, Triple X3, The Return of Xander Cage on January 20, John Wick, Chapter 2 on February 10, The Great Wall on February 17, Ghost in the Shell on March 31, The Fate of the Furious or Fast and Furious 8 on April 14, Transformers The Last Night on June 23, Dunkirk on the 21st of July and Kingsman The Golden Circle on October 6. Now which one or ones will you be going to see? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.